Good afternoon, everyone. Thanks for being here. I'm Christy Casciano. Onondaga County Executive Ryan McMahon says state numbers show two more deaths in nursing homes, but the county is looking into those cases. Yesterday, the death toll topped 100 as Central New York tries to push forward with Phase 1 reopening. News Channel 9's Andrew Donovan joining us this afternoon following Ryan McMahon's press briefing. And uh, Andrew, he talked quite a bit about many different topics. How about we start with the one change for a local hospital? Yeah, that's right, Christy. The governor today giving the go-ahead for St. Joseph's Hospital to welcome visitors again. That was confirmed by Ryan McMahon in his briefing today. The county executive saying he's happy that this is the new outcome, but he didn't have anything to do with that change. That was something between the state and the local hospital. But the county executive also spending a lot of his time talking about Memorial Day. Of course, these continued deaths and these continued cases of coronavirus are making a lot of people worried about social distancing being followed through Memorial Day, which is of course made harder by the nice weather that's expected. So the county executive is trying to meet somewhere in the middle how to celebrate the weekend, not only paying respects to those who served, but also helping people celebrate a long weekend, a nice weather weekend. And that's why they will be opening Oneida Shores this coming weekend. That's a easy facility for us to be able to control uh, the physical distancing because then we're going to control uh, the uh, areas where people can sit as a family and then there will be clear communication as to areas where uh, folks if they're going from the water back to to the beach uh, where they walk and whatnot. The county also explored the option of opening Jamesville Beach instead. They definitely cannot staff both, we're told. They chose Oneida Shores. We'll make some changes. They'll monitor capacity, ask people to social distance, and wear masks. We're hoping to get more details about what their plan looks like later this week and exactly what day it will open. But that was uh, uh, able to happen after the governor said that Memorial Day beaches uh, will be opened for that weekend on the state level. He gave the counties permission to assess their own beaches and options and the county executive choosing Oneida Shores to be open that weekend, Christy.